Okay guys, in this video we're going to be putting on the Wraith cooler. This comes uh, stock with the AMD FX 8370s. So in a previous video we installed the processor, got the bar locked into place and the processor is in place. Now, um, this video for instructional purposes, um, I don't actually have any uh, thermal paste right now. But uh, all I ever do is I just put a pea size like you know the peas that you eat a pea sized uh, little squirt of thermal paste right into the center there's all kinds of different ways people do this with the X's with the credit card smearing it I've always just put a pea size in the middle and smash it down and I've never had any trouble with it so um, what you're going to want to do with this is you need to make sure that you have it lined up uh, in a good way for you to plug this into your um, CPU fan header which is up at the top of the motherboard so just depends on you know what works best for you you could uh, plug it in right now and then try to see where the cable is going to end up for you I'm kind of anal when it comes to cable management, so um, I don't like all the cables laying around and everything, so I kind of like it there because then I'll be able to tuck it up underneath the heat sink and it'll be hidden pretty well. So, okay, I'm going to pick you up here and get you down in close so you can see what's going on. Let me get it to focus. Okay, so you have this little opening there, and that's going to have to go down onto, set that off to the side. That's going to have to clip onto this part that sticks out right there, and one on the back side right there. And then what you do is there's a lever connected to this, and when you pull that lever over, then it tightens down, and... Uh, locks onto the processor so which we can go through all that stuff even without the thermal paste I'm gonna say this one time do not attempt to do this without thermal paste because you will probably burn up your processor <laughs> you definitely don't want to run your processor without thermal paste guys I thought I'd just add that in just in case anybody doesn't know so this lever is a little pain in the butt and it's really in the frickin' way. If anybody wants to know why I went water cooling, this is one of the reasons. Right here. <laughs> Because these little retention brackets are just a pain. Alright, we got it hooked on the back side there. I need to get it on to the front here. And it probably just came disconnected back there again. Okay, finally. Now, got it hooked back there. Now I just gotta get it hooked on the front side here without disconnecting the back side. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're hooked, guys, on the back side and we're hooked down here now I got this lever just kind of holding tension on it and all you need to do is just push the lever over and now that's it it's locked into place so there's the cooler and like I said with this wiring I can kind of route it underneath the heat sink here and now that's hidden pretty well. 
So, that is how to install the AMD Wraith cooler on an FX series processor. And I'm pretty sure it works the same way on the new Ryzen ones too. But I'm not absolutely positive about that. This is AM3 with the FX series processor. That is how you install Wraith cooler. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.